Aaron Bobbitt is back on the streets. He has no money and is fighting to reclaim what's left of over $400,000 raised on GoFundMe last year. I didn't want to be pressuring to get a lawyer or do anything because I didn't want to appear ungrateful. 14,000 people donated to help Bobbitt after he gave his last 20 bucks to help Kate McClure, who'd run out of gas off of I-95. McClure and her boyfriend, Mark D'Amico, set up a GoFundMe account and claimed they'd buy Bobbitt a house and set up two trusts. It never happened. We'll find out tomorrow how much remains when the money is transferred from uh, the defendants uh, to our escrow account. Bobbitt estimates he received about $75,000, including a camper and pickup truck the couple bought in their names, not his, in which were eventually sold. I had to ask them for everything. It was kind of... In the beginning, it was a joke, like they were like my parents. But the joke stops being funny after a while. Sounds familiar. In a familiar. interview this week, the couple says... That